Okay, shop update for 1231. Um, I'm just kind of showing you a uh, video of the welding table because in the clips of this uh, shop update, you're going to see the welding table and you're going to see a bunch of junk around it. Um, you may have noticed it in the past too. And what had happened is uh, um, I had been fabricating a bunch of stuff. My grandson had been fabricating some stuff and there was a lot of drops and uh, um, grinding dust and everything else around the welding table. Uh, so th I got that cleaned up. I just don't want you guys to think I'm a total slob. So I got it cleaned up and uh, gave all those uh, drops and pieces to the scrap guy. So um, here we go on the shop update. It's going to cover uh, a bunch of things. Uh, fabrication of um, refabrication, let me put it that way, of that front axle bracket so that you can see how I did it. I'm also going to have some machining in here where I milled, uh, I dropped the rear axle on the uh, haul truck in preparation for installing the new rear axle on the haul truck and I had to modify the U-bolt brackets and the spring, uh, leaf spring shim. Now I'm just going to talk about the leaf spring shim in this uh, shop update. I'm not going to show you modifications to it. I'm still trying to work out how I'm going to do it, but um, you will see how I fix that uh, screw up on the front leaf spring sh uh, shim. But anyways, here we go. Uh, let me mention something else too, as long as I've got you. Um, I do have a couple of hauls coming up now. It's not gonna be posted in this video. Um, I've got a haul, today is actually Monday, the day that this is being posted. Um, I've got a pickup on Wednesday and a de for a delivery on Thursday morning. Now that is some uh, heavy equipment machine parts. Um, it's actually a boom off a uh, Caterpillar excavator and some kind of stump uh, removal tool that goes on the excavator also. Uh, the boom is 27 feet long um, and the stump thing is just a, an attachment that goes on to the, where the bucket for the arm, or the bucket on the arm goes. I, I've never seen one. It, it almost looks like a ripper that goes on the back of a um, bulldozer, but I, I've never actually seen this. I'll let you, I'll make sure I get pictures of it uh, after I pick it up. Um, they're pretty fairly heavy for what they are. I mean, that boom is, is 27 feet long. It's supposed to be three feet uh, wide, um, three feet high, and the ripper is just an attachment, like a bucket attachment, except it's got a pinch claw on the thing. Like, I'm not really sure how it's used in removing stumps, but um, it's around 14,000 pounds in total. So I'll give you a, uh, a picture uh, the next uh, shop update I'll, I'll submit some uh, or post some uh, pictures and hopefully some footage video footage of of those pieces of equipment again it's going from this area to Newton Connecticut um, and the other haul I've got is gonna I is next Monday um, I've got to pick up a tractor in Iowa and take it to uh, Jacksonville, Florida. But again, I'll let you know on that. Hopefully, I can get some footage of it and uh, or and or pics. But I'll bring you back um, shop update. Uh, mainly fabrication work and some machining work here.
Okay, as part of a shop update, and I mentioned this uh, this issue in the haul truck series, but this is that original bracket that I had built um, to hold the U-bolts on top of the leaf spring of the front axle of the haul truck. The problem is, looks great, worked great, it's wrong dimensions. I fucked up. What I did is when I came up with the spacing between the two U-bolts, instead of measuring between the two U-bolts, I measured one of the U-bolts and used that spacing. So what I've got to do is try and salvage this, and I'm going to try and salvage this by cutting this off right here and using this and uh, just putting a new piece over here to get the U-bolt spacing. Um, it should work. Um, I've got enough material to to make another one and scrap this one. What I don't have on hand is enough of this 3 8 square stock or the round bar to uh, do it. Or I don't think I have. I, I might have it someplace else. I'd, but what I'm going to do is try and salvage this. So anyways, um, a Freddy fuck up. And here we are starting to cut on that uh, screw up. I did it from the back side because if I flipped it over, what ha happens is that round bar falls into that slot for the uh, um, chuck, um, the chuck jaw. So um, I flipped it over the other way so that I don't have that issue. And here it is after the cut. Okay, so back over here uh, the following day. So what I probably didn't mention was what will happen is this, where I cut it off, will become the outside uh, of the spacer. And then I'll just weld another piece inside here and make another slot and, and fix it. So uh, luckily, I kind of lucked out on that thing where I could cut it off and, and reuse it and... Um, just cut in another spacer on the thing but uh, you know it, it's annoying it's annoying that I did that and um, you know it's just uh, one of them piss myself off type of deals you know okay shop update I what I did is redid that thing it, it's really still very hot so I don't know what I'm getting out of there or not. Yeah. So anyways, um, there it is. It's redone. It's just been welded out. I wanted to just bring it over here, test fit it, make sure that it's good. Um, kind of ironic that I didn't try and test fit it before I welded it out to uh, the first time. But anyways, there it is. Um, I'll bring you back when I do the second one, weld it out. Okay, so here is the brackets on. <clears throat> this is the driver's side, not the side that I had screwed up, but the second one that I welded out. Now, I didn't show any of the welding. What I, we are going to switch to here is me modifying these U-bolts. When I bought the U-bolts for the front of the truck, all I could get them was, I think it was 8 and 5 eighths inches long, and they were about... Um, an inch and a half too long and the thread length wasn't long enough so what I'm going to show you is uh, <clears throat> cutting off and re-threading these U-bolts or threading further down these U-bolts to get them to adapt to my situation there's going to be a little funny part of this thing about threading these U-bolts um, you're going to notice the first one that I do, I can thread with the uh, die chuck that comes with the threading kit. Wait until you see the other ones. I'm not really sure what happened. I just picked up one and it happened to be the first one that I got to and it threaded very easily with the die handle out of the kit. When I got to the rest of them, now they're all supposed to be grade 8. so. 
kind of what my suspicion is, is that first one wasn't a grade eight, it was probably a grade five that got mixed in with a package. And I'm not really gonna complain about that. Um, it, it'll still work. But that first one threaded very easily. Wait till you see what I have to do with the rest of them. These are the U-bolts off of the truck, the new U-bolts off of the Ford haul truck. And uh, I've just got to extend the thread down a little farther. Um, these are the shortest ones that I could buy from that manufacturing company. And the thread length isn't uh, quite long enough for this. Instead of building it up with washers or shims or anything, I'm just going to extend, extend the thread length down. And then after I'm done, I'll, uh, what I'll do is I'll just uh, cut, cut the uh, excess rod off of it. It's a uh, three-quarter inch thread, uh, three-quarter fine, um, so it's uh, three-quarter sixteen, I think it is, if I remember right. What I did is switched over to the welding table, different vise. As you can see, I cut this one off. Um, now I'm just threading this one. I'm not going to show you anymore. Um, maybe I'll show you cutting this other one off, but then that's it. I'll do the rest of them the exact same. I gotta tell you, I don't know what happened, but that first one, that first U-bolt I flew through, um, cut it off and, and uh, ran the threads down farther. This second one, I cut it off and the, the die, actually I'm having problems getting the die down the the original threads it's like they were shallow or something and then when I get down to where there's no thread you can see I've got a uh, three-quarter inch breaker bar on the thing it's probably two and a half feet long um, and I'm, I'm not really pulling on it real hard but I'm pulling on it hard you know I put that die wrench on it to take that a uh, die off of this one where I threaded it and I couldn't move it um, with that. I had to loosen it up with the breaker, three quarter inch breaker bar and uh, um, then take it off. But it's, uh, it's hard getting it on. I mean, the first couple of, first, uh, first couple of threads were hard and then it started getting easy and um, now it's getting hard again, even though it's threaded. I'll bring you back. Okay, I'm over here. I cut these off, and what I did on the first three of them was use that breaker bar. I kind of showed it to you in another video, the three-quarter inch. Got a three-quarter inch socket, and I used this long breaker bar to put them uh, to thread it down farther. Well, I gotta tell you, I got really sick of it. It was even hard to get these things off of again. So what I did is went over and grabbed my three quarter inch impact and put it on it. And uh, it's much easier. Now you're not gonna be able to hear anything, but you can watch it. Um, Sure, I'm going the right way here. <coughs> Which I'm not.
it sure is a lot easier. A hell of a lot easier. So there's the second one in place. This is the driver's side. I just got to get the uh, nuts and washers for it, and I'll put that on there. Okay, so we're going to switch gear uh, gears here a little bit. Um, no pun intended. The rear axle. As you can see, the rear axle is out, and what I have to do is modify the brackets that hold the U-bolts um, to the axle. So what we're going to do is show you that now. So you're kind of getting a sneak peek or a preview of this before um, it came out or it will come out in the haul truck series. Uh, yeah, the haul truck series hasn't been out yet showing me lowering that rear axle out and uh, in preparation for putting the new axle in. Okay, as part of a shop update, I'm over here to the vertical mill. And these are the brackets off of the rear axle on the haul truck. Now this is the brackets off the existing axle, and they're gonna be used to house all U-bolts um, on the bottom. Because with the newer axle, I did not get these brackets. So what happens is the U-bolts go down from the top and go down through these two things. What the issue is, is they are a little bit too narrow, the spread on them. The newer axle is a little wider than that. Um, and let me show you how wide it is. Um, so it has to be taken off that much. And I switched that caliper because there's a reason for it. <clears throat> this side, the um, protrusion on this thing is almost in line with the bolt hole. And on this side, there is probably a good half inch, uh, five eighths of an inch over there. So what I'm going to do is take all of the material off the one side. So. What I've got it is just chucked up. I, I've still got to change the, uh, um, get that drill chuck out of there or in the drill and put a end mill in there. And what I'll do is I'll just uh, go off of the side of it, just skim the sides of it until I've got enough material off. It should be fairly easy. I think these things are cast iron. Again, what I did was, uh, before I brought them over here, I stuck him in the uh, blast cabinet and just uh, kind of bead blasted him off a little bit to get most of the crud off of him. I'll get this to uh, back to where I want it, uh, probably take him back over, maybe scrape some of this stuff off with a scraper, and then take him back over to the blast cabinet, clean him up, and then uh, paint him with that uh, PRO 15 whatever it is but I just kind of wanted to show you that I've got the tripod set up here when I'm doing it I will just film a little bit of it okay I'm over here at the end mill and what I've, I've thrown an end mill in I just grabbed an end mill I don't even know what size it is it probably looks like about five eighths maybe five eighths or three quarter inch end mill one of the things I wanted to tell you is that I'm using these calipers to measure this thing because it's not a precision fit all I'm doing is, is cutting this bracket back to get it to fit around the axle housing. No precision in the thing. I mean, I'm not going to use a dial indicator, dial caliper, or micrometer, or anything like that. So, um, I just wanted to show that to you. Let me uh, get the uh, get it adjusted, get it to the tripod, uh, tripod setup where it's uh, the bed is not going to interfere with the tripod. And I'll bring it back. I'm going to put a little oil on it because I really don't know what that material is. Until I figure out what the material is, I just put that little oil on it.
What I'll do is I'll take it over to uh, the axle and make sure it's good. Yeah, it fit just fine. So um, after I do the rest of them, and I'm probably not going to show it, and it is cast iron. Um, I'm not going to show it. Um, what I'll do is clean up the burrs and stuff like that. Just take a uh, angle grinder to it and, and kind of uh, grind it off a little bit. Okay, so there is going to be more to the rear axle brackets. There's a top shim that fits between the top of the axle and holds the and the leaf spring. It fits between the top of the axle and the leaf spring. It centers the leaf spring um, on that shim, and the shim also uh, holds the axle on a pin. No, they are in two different locations, but I'll show you that issue and that problem in the next shop update. Um, you didn't think I was going to let you go through a shop update without showing you a toolbox, did you? Well, I did, I, like I discussed in the last shop update, I did get the liners for the drawers and um, I am going to be doing a shop update. I was kind of waiting for one more thing, but uh, apparently it's not going to be here and I, I want to get that shop updated out of the way so um, kind of pick a drawer one through seven how about three what I did is uh, took the uh, quarter inch sockets and everything ratchets and put them in here in one in the side cabinet to give me more room in the socket drawer in the ratchet and extension drawer um, and I'll show you why when I do this toolbox update and like I said it's going to uh, be coming very soon